My name's Dale, and welcome to Metal Tips and Tricks. How many of you have a milling machine that sounds like this? Pretty ugly, isn't it? What if I tell you that it may not be the bearings going out in the column? Be pretty cool, isn't it? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. So now let's listen to it with a little adjustment. Pretty nice, huh? Well, what's going on here is on a milling machine, you also have back gears similar to the back gears that you have on a metal lathe. And these back gears allow the machine to run at a lot slower RPM. Well, what engages this is two gears that come together. So when you move this handle, the two gears are allowed to operate correctly. And when they're just a little out of alignment, they vibrate together and make noise. And that's what we want to eliminate. Now, the reason they're out of alignment is because of wear. The correct way to fix this is by changing the gears, but that requires taking this whole thing apart, and we're trying to avoid that. I want to show you a different way. First, what we want to do is discover, is it worn out, OK? Is it the gears I'm talking about, or is it the bearings? Very simple to do. There's two screws in the sides that release this collar. So let's take those out. Now, if there's a lot of friction when you're taking these screws out, rubbing on this collar, this may be your problem. Take the collar off. Now let's turn it on. If it runs quietly, we have a problem in the gears not meshing correctly. And what you're going to simply do, you guys are going to love this. There's actually two ways, three ways to change this. One is you can chuck this collar into your lathe, turn this down, and take a couple thousandths off. The third way of doing it is you can file a little notch in here, giving those screws a little more room to seat in. Or the third option, which I like the most, is Take these screws over to your lathe and shave them off a bit. That is actually the easiest and the best way to do it. Because someday if you take the head apart, you can, to, to replace those gears, well then you'll just replace these screws at the same time. And when we're talking out of tolerance, we're only talking five, maybe ten thousandths at the most. So that's the solution to fixing the grinding sound in your head the grinding sound in your head. There's something wrong about that. I'm not exactly sure. We're talking about your milling head, not your brain head. That, for me, is more of a whistling sound, not a grinding sound. But I digress, going too far. I hope you guys like this uh, little tip. I know some of you are going to email me and go, Dale, you saved my life, and I hope so. Now, if it's not your mill making noise, I'm sure you have a friend that his mill is making noise. So please share this with them. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm trying to get a video out now every Friday. So I'm trying to develop that consistency for you guys so you have a reason to check back once a week. So until next time, go out in your shop fix something cool. Thanks. Just like I did with the other bit is I did a depth of a thousand, uh, 70, thousand, I did a depth of that, 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 that. I did a depth that was a lot. I did a depth that was um, somewhat deeper than it was. <laughs>